Hi there, this is part two in our series on healing depression, a radical approach to treating depression. Now, if you've been depressed or someone you love has been depressed, I want you to save this, share this, because it's gonna make a really big difference in your life and maybe the life of someone you love. Listen, I have been depressed. I know what it feels like. It is the darkest, heaviest feeling and I was so ill with depression. I was doing what's called disassociating where I thought I was invisible. And I was shocked if somebody said hello to me because I thought, gee, they can see me. That's how bad off I was. And I was that way, I would say from about age, maybe as early as age eight, all the way until I was 23 years old when I started intensive therapy. For the first time, I used to go in and see my therapist and every week he'd look at me and go, hmm, I see you're still depressed. I was like, no kidding, but he saved my life. So here's what I want you to know. Depression can be changed. It can be treated. I'm Dr. Brenda Wade, your love doctor. You're probably asking, why is the love doctor talking about depression? You know if your heart is broken that you get depressed. That proves my point from part one, which is something causes depression, even if you have the gene, the genetic predisposition, something turns genes on and we can turn them off. Now here's the deal. All of the modern research, and you guys know I'm a major research junkie. I'm up on the cutting edge. All the research shows we can impact depression in a number of ways. Meditation profoundly improves depression. Exercise, diet, there's an anti-depression diet. Detoxing the body. All of these things have been proven to help. Wait, there's more. Sleep, critically important. You can only improve neurotransmitter production in the last two hours of an eight hour, eight hour sleep cycle. And emotional support, golden for helping with depression. You're beginning to see where I'm headed. I spell that little formula that I made up, meds, meditation, exercise, diet, detox, sleep, and support. We need the whole package. And if you're on medication, yes, medication can jumpstart the brain and get those neurotransmitters reloaded. And you need to stay with it until your doctor says you're in the clear, but in the meantime, you can start doing your meds formula and get ahead of it. So with meditation, one of the most important things to do is find a class online. We have all sorts of ways to learn meditation. I've even created a little meditation kit. The power key, which is one of our most important pieces of technology, you can follow through on any program by training your brain. Instantly puts you in a meditative state so the brain starts producing neurotransmitters. Go to our website and find out more about all this. But here's what I want you to do today in part two. I want you to ask yourself, what could have happened in my life that triggered depression? And most likely it happened before the age of eight. Before the age of eight, the brain acts like a sponge. Everything we can see, hear, touch, taste, and smell, boom, goes right into the brain, and you download it, and it's in there in what I call the hard drive. Very difficult to change unless you use all of these modalities. So this week, I want you to learn how to meditate. I'm gonna do a one-hour class on healing depression, a radical approach. I'll give you some more tips on how to meditate. You already know how to exercise. It's aerobic exercise that produces the endorphins, precipitates serotonin, boom, you feel better. And when we talk about the detox diet, I'm gonna have our resident nutritionist give you some tips on what in your diet can make it harder for you to feel good and creates more depression and what can make you feel better. Of course, we're gonna talk about detox. I want you to start now, if you're using the master key or using meditation, 
it helps you with sleep, and we're gonna talk about support. Now, here's a tool you can use right now. See this? This is called Emotional Freedom Therapy. You can go to a website that Dr. Gary Craig created, and I'm gonna look up the name of the website. Hold on, because I wrote it down for you. It's called EmoFree, EmoFree.com, okay? Emotion Free, EmoFree.com. And this EFT, this tapping, is one way to begin getting in touch with what happened and to begin clearing it. Absolutely go there and meditate. Those are your assignments for this week. Next week, I've got two more. Stay with me. We can beat this disease. Robin Williams didn't take his life. Depression did. All right, everyone, blessings. <laughs>